Welcome here today. We have the beautiful Crystal. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and we're gonna have a little chat about makeup we love and just general makeup heaven. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all the things we love, all the things we enjoy. So it's gonna be makeup we use on ourselves and makeup we use in the kit and what inspires us and any other questions that we get asked quite a lot and to introduce ourselves. I'm sorry if the lighting looks shocking as well. I did have <laughs> one light and it doesn't work. So I'm depending on a bit of natural light and a bit of yellow lighting from my light above. So hopefully it looks okay. Yeah. We're not in just shadows <laughs> like where are they? So hopefully it's working and I apologise for that. Well to give you a little heads up, if you're wondering why we keep on looking back and forth, we've got two cameras going, just in case we miss a bit. Yeah. <laughs> and also we've got a house full of children, haven't yes. we? So we may be running around, you may hear little voices yeah. <laughs> calling from the distance. <laughs> no, we've got another makeup artist here, we haven't just abandoned them. No, no, no. We've got yeah. a backup. Yeah, we did. Yeah. <laughs> She's out there in the wilderness, <laughs> just left her with all the children. So, uh, yeah, it may be a little bit interrupted, but we'll get there. We'll yes. edit all those bits out, I'm sure. Will, yes. <laughs> Where do you get your inspiration from? Oh, so for me, it, that's a really tricky one, but I think I get it from everywhere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's hard it's to totally define, different. isn't it? Because I think from because I studied fine art, it was all about picking up inspiration from mm. nature and things like that. So I've got that background where you just pick up colours and textures from sort of nature and everything around you. And then I do get inspired by films, you know, all the really obvious things as well with subliminally I think you soak it in so I think it's everywhere isn't it and back at you what inspires you um yeah pretty much the same thing really actually just like everything you know like just nature definitely you know yeah. just you could just wake up and have something on your mind you know yeah. so just everything colors I love colors yeah. just colors everywhere so yeah you know people style fashion clothing all yeah. of that kind of stuff even jewelry you know just kind of anything really showing yeah. what about you have you i mean this is my fourth year doing yeah. it so i don't have the same a I've, been long time. Since, I've been in it since like the whole kim kardashian things been yeah around. so yeah i think you're definitely right about people just being so much more clued up coming in yeah which can be hard uh, to yeah, start yeah i imagine that's people harder like, because people like they know what how they, they want what they want yeah. so that must be hard starting off in that industry. I guess yeah because it's the only thing I kind of know so I don't have any comparisons yeah but yeah it's really interesting when someone <laughs> comes in and they go yeah I just want to like look like you know Amy Campbell and then you go yeah I can do our best yeah <laughs> 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 Amy Campbell doesn't and change like the face it's just a little head <laughs> <laughs> no like, like a little I know a lot of your clientele, especially this time of year, it tends sure. to be a lot of bridal work, doesn't it? Because obviously yeah. you've got two small children mm -hmm. and it's perfect because it fits around your lifestyle. So oh, yes. have you got like a signature sort of bridal look that you tend to go to or products you use on your bride? Anything you can recommend? Um, yeah, I mean, with like a signature look, I think ultimately I'm just going to go for what the bride wants like yeah. I in my mind um like a wedding makeup is classic really beautiful flawless looking skin yeah but it's a little bit more on the natural side with like just trying to create that glow from within yeah how did you get into makeup like where did it start your journey yeah so um so when I moved um, I, I did a, my degree in London, and then yeah. when I I did it in accounting actually. Did you? Oh, when I, great. Yeah, that's useful though. Like, yeah, yeah, it does help. Yeah, having your own business. But then when I got back from London and we fell pregnant with Chloe, my daughter, uh, she. I mean, I I just wanted to f do something then that was like being at home, and I always really liked makeup. I really like beauty. I like fashion. I like the whole lot. So it was kind of my husband really. He was just like, um, you know, why don't you do something that you're good at? So he was like, why don't you do like hair or makeup? And I was like, he thinks I'm good at all that stuff, but I was like, I, I'm not that good at hair. And maybe I'll try makeup. And then there was this whole thing around it. So I just like watched so many, you know, just going back with YouTube videos, and then. 
and just learning and learning and really getting into it, picking it up from then and then just, you know, just start collecting bits and, you know, my husband just took me shopping. He was really generous to like, oh, your husband sounds amazing, isn't it? How, when and how did your like makeup journey begin? Oh, well, I started off by studying fine art at uni in Swansea mm -hmm. and then, um, is it relatable? Well, yeah, makeup, I found it really, really relatable because I was always into makeup, but I felt like you had to do, if you did a course, it would be kind of like massaging and all of okay. that stuff, which I wasn't really interested in. <laughs> and I loved art, but obviously it's not so vocational unless you want to be mm. on your own, sitting yes. in a studio <laughs> painting. I like yeah. being around people, so... I was like, what can I do that merges the two together? Oh. So I found it really useful when I went into makeup, having that art background because I was already sort of did a lot of colour theory and like working with brushes and things like that. So I did find that helped. I worked for MAC as most people, lots of people do. So I went straight to them and then they did a lot of the training. And then I worked, I worked for them for about 10 years, but I worked part time for them and I was on their events team okay. so with that that's when you do like fashion week or you do all the celebrity yeah. appointments for them so that yeah. was really that was amazing because that gives you good opportunities to yeah. meet people and do that sort of thing so yeah it was good so which bit out of like there's a lot you do you, you know which bit have you enjoyed the most because I mean like fashion week freelance oh. You know, well, weddings, being in the store, yeah, working oh. with your staff, I don't know. I suppose you get different things from, it's all enjoyable, like it's okay. good to have variety, yeah, but I do okay. prefer, I do like doing photo shoots, especially with the creative collaborations, Yeah, because you can all work together and you can do something a bit more zany, because obviously when you're mm -hmm. doing like, say like wedding makeup you have to be quite restrained yeah. don't you so I do like going mad sometimes <laughs> and I like tv because it's just especially live tv I prefer because it's quick you do it quickly and then it's it's quite sort of satisfying wow. but yeah like one-on-one -on -one, like red carpet work is probably my favourite. I think to just like sit with you and just like hear all of this. Oh, it <laughs> sounds amazing. You know, obviously we don't have all the time, but it's just like, oh, all the amazing things it sounds like you've done, yeah. Because right, I mean, you do like celebrity as well, don't yeah, you? Do yeah, like... I have, yeah, I've been lucky. I did a lot of celebrity stuff, but through Mac. Yeah. And then I have done some, I luckily I worked on the one show for a while. Yeah. I sort of did it more, and they have permanent makeup artists there who do the presenters, and then when they had a lot of celebrity guests, then I'd come in and have that sort of thing. Okay. So now we're just going to like start talking a bit about the makeup. What we have in our kit, what some yeah. of our favourite things are, brands that you like. Bits. Yeah, all what you want. Stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I always want to know. I want to know what people use, yeah. and then I buy it all. Yeah, me too. It's so true. It is. Yeah, yeah, it is actually. That yeah. is what I'm Whenever you watch for. things, you're like, me, blah, blah. Yeah. And the makeup. <laughs> Fast forward this bit. Yeah. yeah. Well, I guess I'll just, I kind of just like brought the stuff that I'm constantly going for in my yeah. kit. Um, things that I use on myself, yes. things that I use on clients. Um, yeah. And so, yeah, I'm just going to go through them. So, obviously, the Morphe palette, oh, I, I had to just like, obviously it's so popular everybody already knows about it yeah. but this is a staple product for me for myself so i nice. have like three of these and for my kit i'm just like yeah yeah they just have such a incredible age. i know it blew my mind oh my gosh i've only just Surprise. incorporated it into my kit because i was like oh but then it's just as good quality yeah, as the premium really ones is. especially like the one i use in my kit is the brighter one because you don't use bright, bright colors, colors that much i love that so one. there's no point in buying All like a hundred of really expensive ones when it's such good quality yeah. so if you're only going to use it occasionally what one is that? Which shade? This is a three five zero. So this is oh, kind of like is the, that the bronzy sort of. Yeah, oh, yeah, this is kind of like the one that everybody went crazy for. It's just like yeah. there's so many neutrals and then all the like right. browns and these are my colours and oh. these are the shades that I like to put on other people. That is so weird saying. because that was what I was going to show you. <laughs> yeah, that was on yeah, my yeah. list. Okay. That's down there somewhere. So was. is there something yeah. else that you want to show? Another like, like, eyeshadow palette? Yeah. Oh um, my gosh, we've got so many. But yeah. I'm glad you did the, that Morphe one because that saves me. I was yeah. going to do that little beauty. It's so snap good. You, and I could snap you on this one too. Yeah, this the one chocolate palette. is good. It's so good. I think yeah. Too Faced is overall though. I know. 
the, the quality it's of the like eyeshadow. It's buttery, consistency, oh, blend, and again, you sound like me, I just love warm shades. Yeah. Like, I think it just suits everyone. It really does. I find cold, I know some people look good, but and I cool can you, look you know, a little bit harsh, yeah, like, no, definitely. a bit stuck. Yeah. So yeah, you've got all of the I warm. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. And they actually and smell like chocolate. Oh. And some people don't like that, but I like that. Well, there's a few MAC ones in there, but there's a lot of makeup geek ones in there. And geek? Oh yeah. This is one of my favourite ones, Grandstand. So like appointments, I've got that on today. Oh yes, it's beautiful. So that is amazing. Just another universal. So that's just another. And they're again affordable and easy to blend. Yeah, I love the so MAC and mix of MAC and makeup geek. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm constantly going for this. Yeah. Yeah, I always use that. that. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and this is in Tanta Deep so this is the one that I use on myself but I really like the shades. I really like just like I think her products are super pigmented as yeah. well but I think for like, for like dark skin I feel like this is brilliant just because it shows up so well and I, I just always think that it's easy to get makeup to kind of show up on lighter skin. Yeah. So when it does work really well on dark skin, I'm like, yeah. So yeah. I bought this one. Contour, and then especially. I went especially contour, contour can be so hard. Especially, yeah, because we're all, you know, it's already like dark. So yeah. it's like, <laughs> so when I got it, you know, for me originally, I was like, oh my gosh, it, it's got to be good. So I just, yeah. I know it used to be so hard. Hair. I remember back in the day, there wasn't contouring yeah, products for deeper imagine? skin tones. Yeah. I always yeah. used to use MAC eyeshadows, things like that. Yeah. Like, That's a really good tip though, guys. Yeah. yeah, I love this palette, the RCMA, I that, and I never use it. I How need. Come? I don't know why. I do you like it? A, I do like, like it, it, but I always I still. Know. I think habit. I go to the um, Make Mac Studio Finish. Okay. Yes. I've got it all melted into a palette, oh. so I always go to that where it's a bit yeah. thicker. But that is amazing. God, tell no, me this is really nice. I re yeah, I just like it just because, like they say, it's like, what's the percentage of? It's meant to be ridiculous. It's really pigmented, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So, so it's you can like use a little bit. Foundation's got like I don't know, like seventeen percent. Yeah. Where this is meant to be like something ridiculous. Yeah. There's no need for that conversation there. But no, it's, it's whatever. Yeah, whatever it's, it is, it's <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no, it's super pigmented. I yeah. love because you get. You look how many shades you get in there, you know, and you've you got much better use. I need to start using quickly. it. Yeah, yeah. but um, yeah, I've got good color, and it's separated nicely, isn't it? The color variation, yeah. it's easy to understand. It I is. love a palette. Yeah, I love a palette. You, you palette open it up. Kit. You got five people you're working on. You can use. You need it quick, don't yeah, you? Yeah. How do you use that? Do you warm it up? Do you scrape it out? Yeah, warm it just up? scrape it out and put it on like a, a, a what's the thing that comes with a spatula? Like a little palette. Yeah, <laughs> just like a little like mirror thing. Yeah. Yeah, just use it like that with a, either with a beauty blender or a brush. Oh, yeah, and I find that you don't have to use a lot. No. Like just little sparks, little sparks, little sparks. Just get it all around there. Oh, yeah. What I'm going to talk about next is one that you're probably all bored of and you all use, but I just think it needs a shout out. Always. So it's the good old fashioned MAC mineralized skin finish in natural. So I just think it creates beautiful skin. You can set it, it doesn't look too heavy or cakey. It helps things not look heavy. Cakey. Yeah. If it exactly. already does look heavy, yeah. You can get a tiny bit of coverage. But it's still like three dimensional yeah. skin, isn't it? It's oh, not like powdery. Yeah. I still haven't no. found a powder that is, has that level. No. So you get a bit of coverage, but it doesn't look dry and powdered and completely flat. Yeah, so it has all the dimensions of the skin. It, you know, it kind of. Yeah. yeah. And the shade range as well. Beautiful. Like you can, especially your deepest skin as yeah. well. You can it get goes all that. the way down to like dark deepest, is yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. Which is really, so really nice. Exactly. You can use them on your eyes. They're good for ah. them. Sometimes I use deeper shades. Oh, I use these. I like, you know, if you want a matte highlight as well, yeah. rather than using an eyeshadow, That's it's amazing true. for that. And I contour the eyes with a darker one. You can use it for I everything. Love that. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I love I love hearing things like that, like Aww. things that I don't think of and people do. You can, yes, I'm getting like, like, oh, you yeah, do? Yeah, yeah, you can use it as I shall think. What products do you have in your kit that you feel like you can use for a lot of things? A lot of things. Oh, that's a good question. The MAC mineralized skin finish. MAC mineralized skin finish. Mm -hmm. just, just simple things, like if I was doing a photo shoot, I would use like 
a lip conditioner on the cheeks for a glossy yeah. highlight and use it obviously to yeah. hydrate still. I'm trying to use things a bit more multi-purpose yeah, or like a lip gloss, cold. use it on the eyes, use yes. it on the cheeks. Anything I was like in that. NYX just I think two days ago and the lady was telling me about just how she was using lipstick. One of the staff was telling me how she uses lipstick as a liquid liner. Yeah, so like she used like bright, lipstick. Yeah, you can do can't like you? really yeah. bright shades. So she yeah. had this bright orange on, brighter than the liquid, brighter than the you know the one that they actually sell in the store. And I was like, it's not that bright. I've got it. You know? Yeah. And she said no. I use the the lip. Yeah. Yes, that is a good. So tip. I was like, that was brilliant. Yeah, because I've never done that. So oh, it's good. The ones that are really red tend, you've got to be a little bit wary of because they can make your eyes leak. Okay. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you've got I don't imagine eyes, it's not actually. But yeah. people do do it. But no, that's an amazing tip. Liquid yeah. lipstick, so you can do a lot with, definitely. Um, I love so like this. This is the Hourglass um, oh, highlighter I palette. I've got that. This and I is, want it so is bad. yeah, it's lovely. I mean, I just, yeah, I just heard so much about it. And then, you know, just the whole like wedding. Yeah, this yeah. has got to be in my kit for like weddings in particular. It's yeah, like glow with from within. You know? Yeah, so but some people don't really like it because kind of, it's just the price point. I thought, is it that much different to all the other stuff I've got? It just, it doesn't, it's, it doesn't have the same look as kind of like the you know that kind like of proper highlight. Like no, it's not that. It doesn't stand. It doesn't have that same kind sort of, of soft. on the skin look. Yeah, this kind of looks soft more lighting. in the skin very soft lighting yeah. but it's really beautiful sort of like when you catch people like you know uh, brides they just want to yeah. look beautiful from every angle, every angle so yeah. you know you're catching people you're catching their face just from an angle and you just yeah it's yeah. really got that like it's the skin highlights yeah but thank you so much for watching and most of all thank you thank for sharing you. all of your knowledge no, i'm just gonna bite everything <laughs> I don't know how much I'm I sorry, missed I'm because sorry. my camera stopped filming because it starts for, after 10 minutes it starts filming which kills me oh, so I hope I didn't miss right. anything otherwise I'll put a list of what you recommended yeah, yeah, underneath yeah. it was so good no I've never oh. loved today it's been amazing thank you for having you <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for watching and hopefully see you again very soon bye, bye guys